A greedy man who wanted some rewards lied to David that he killed King Saul, his enemy, but David disappointed him. Instead of rewards, David queried and authorized the man's punishment. Meanwhile, David wept and mourned for King Saul, and he ordered his associates to do likewise. David also eulogized King Saul's death and said, The beauty of Israel is slain on your high places. How the mighty have fallen. Tell it not in Gath. Proclaim it not in the streets of Ashkelon, lest the daughters of the Philistines rejoice, lest the daughters of the uncircumcised triumph. O mountains of Gilboa, let there be no dew nor rain upon you, nor fields of offerings. For the shield of the mighty is cast away there. The shield of Saul, not anointed with oil, 2 Samuel 1 21 Lesson, all people should desist from vengeance since vengeance belongs to God. We may truly struggle with forgiveness, but God still requires that we forgive people that have offended us. It is important that we learn from Jesus Christ who prayed for his persecutors up to the point of death. Meanwhile, God knows how to exercise accurate judgment without our personal involvements and we should allow him to handle situations as he pleases. Instead of focusing on vengeance, we should focus on our own healing. We are expected to pray and ask for God's healing from the pain that we have suffered and the injury that we have sustained. God will surely heal our wounds and help to recover all our losses. Prayer, Dear God, I ask that you please grant me the grace to forgive people that have offended me. Empower me to exercise forgiveness even when it is not convenient. Do not let me take laws into my hands but allow you to handle matters in a way that will glorify your holy name. For in the name of Jesus Christ, I make my requests. Amen. Download Bible Combo mobile app to read this daily devotion in your local language. God bless you.